Welcome to Automation Components. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at our video which is going to focus on linear rail systems. Um, automation has been in existence for about 30 years and we employ about 30 people here in the UK. We've got a very large warehouse and we really try and stock as much linear rail product as we can. Um, we think that we have a number of unique uh, linear rail systems and I hope during this short video to be able to introduce you to the main ones that we're selling. So I think the most important thing uh, when considering which linear rail system to use is that one looks at a couple of factors. Um, the first one probably being the accuracy uh, and function that you require the linear rail system to achieve. Uh, quite a lot of people have uh, used linear guideways, so that's hard and linear guideways um, and they're used to using that, but there are a number of different uh, linear rail systems on the market and this can make a huge difference in terms of the cost of actually uh, the product and also the cost of preparing the products on which you're going to mount the rails and uh, we want to be able to show you the different types of systems so you can get that the best rail and the best cost reduction. So if I look first of all at what I would call a basic linear rail application where you don't require a huge amount of accuracy and it might be for example for guarding, for doors, uh, just simply for sliding something backwards and forwards where there's not a high degree of accuracy needed but it can still take either quite light loads or quite heavy loads. The best uh, option for this type of product where there, you don't need a huge amount of accuracy is something that we we have here which is called our X-Rail system. The X-Rail system is for uh, linear rails applications where a high degree of accuracy is not required and you want to try and reduce the cost as, as far as possible and it is based on a pressed steel section with a number of different sliders. So that is probably the least expensive of the systems that we've got and is quite widely used. It comes in a zinc plated steel version and also and this is quite a popular, a stainless steel version, but I'll show that to you at a different, uh, a different time, different video. Stepping up in terms of accuracy, um, we have something called the compact rail system. Um, this is quite a, quite a similar approach to the X-Rail system, but instead of it being made from a, a pressed steel section, this is made from cold-drawn hardened steel, and again, it has uh, similar functions, um, but the, the surface is a ground and it's, it is very accurate. Um, it takes some quite heavy loads and it comes in about four or five different sizes. Um, so this, I think, has some major advantages compared to linear guideways. The most important thing being is that unlike uh, monorails and, and guideways, this system can take some degree of misalignment because it has a master rail and a slave rail system. Okay, so for me, I would use this where you need a degree of accuracy, uh, you need to take some heavy loads, and also you need to take account of some moment loads. So that's the compact rail system, I think is probably one of the best products that we've got on offer. If, however, you want to um, carry very, very heavy loads with uh, high moment loads and high degree of accuracy, and, and now we're talking about micron accuracy, then you might need to consider moving to the standard linear guideway system, and I've got a selection here. Again, you can see that the classic linear guideway profile comes in about four or five different sizes, can take very, very heavy loads um, for the size of the rail, comes in different versions. You can have flanged or unflanged carriages, the issue with this is that, especially over long distances or where the rails are spaced far apart, you have to have this aligned to achieve that micron accuracy. You have to have that aligned very, very accurately. And this is, this is where quite a lot of cost that relates to setting up of a linear rail system is involved, where you have to machine the surfaces. So if you don't install this correctly, what you're going to have the risk of is some stiction as the system goes down uh, a straight track. Whereas with the compact rail system, because you're operating on a master rail and a sleigh rail version, it's taking its accuracy from the master rail and the other rail is floating. So to me, uh, for very heavy duty loads, for very heavy moment loads, 
the monorail system, which is the classic linear rail system, is, is a good system, um, but it is quite expensive to install when you have to machine the parts. The last system we have, which is uh, quite a unique system as well, it's sort of an inverse of the monorail system. So on this instance, the balls, the, the linear rail balls in here, are running on the outside of the rail. With this system, we've got that all nicely tucked away inside the rail. So you can see inside there, there's a row of uh, linear ball bearings which are rotating, are recirculating, and um, again, you can take very, very heavy loads with that. So I think that's the, the basic introduction. Hopefully that'll give you some sort of flavour as to which is the best linear rail for you. And what I'll try and do now is to expand on each one in turn.